We're going to be doing something a little different on the channel today. What's your favorite donut? I kind of don't have a favorite donut just because I pretty much like all of them. But if I had to choose, it would probably be something with Oreos in it. Donuts. It's going to be a fun project. Hey guys, Ray Pahar from Get Crafty Crafty, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. About a week or so ago, I asked you guys which popping cooking kit I should do for my next DIY project, and I decided we're going to be doing the donut popping cooking kit. I usually celebrate things with donuts, so make sure you guys stay till the very end of this video to see what it is we're actually celebrating today. Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include a donut popping cooking kit, I'll have links to this in the description below, water, and some scissors. This is the first time that I'm actually working with a popping cooking kit, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this to see what's on the inside. This is gonna be the container that if you guys wanna actually make the container, you could save that part, but we're just gonna go ahead and cut this bag open and show you guys all the things on the inside. The kit includes the chocolate powder, the vanilla powder, some sprinkles, the red uh, strawberry icing bag, the chocolate icing bag, the vanilla icing bag, purple snuff, which is more for decorating, a little piping bag, this little scooping tray, and the container which will have all the things that you're going to need to put this together. Based on the instructions in the back, it looks like we're going to set all of this stuff aside first, and we're going to create the actual part of the donut. We're going to take our little plastic tray and we're going to cut this little triangle part which will be our scoop for all the water. Cut the container. This is going to be the area to actually mix the donut pieces together and this will be the parts for your icing. First we're going to take our little scooper and we're going to fill up the base part of our mixing tray with enough water so that it fills up that little circle part at the bottom. Once our tray has been filled up I'm going to cut open the yellow vanilla powder. It actually smells like vanilla. I'm going to add all of the mix into the bowl. Use our little scooping shovel to actually mix it all together. Once all of that has been put together, knead it with my hands. Kind of feels like weird dough. You can feel some of the grain still in there. According to the packet, we now take our little donut shapes and we're going to shape them into the donuts. I'm gonna actually save a small amount of the donut into this little hole because I'm gonna try to make the bear from the cupboard. So I'm gonna just set this aside, fill this up, put a little bit in there, pack it all in there. I'm actually gonna use a shovel to make sure that all the little corners are cleaned off. Pop these guys out with the little shovel. And that is our circle donut. Put that over there. This guy out, which I hope is it still able to hold its shape. Hey, look at that. It's like a little cake donut. Those are my parts for the yellow cake. We're going to repeat the same steps for the chocolate part of the donut. I don't really know if I'm doing this completely correctly, just because I don't really know Japanese. Cut open the chocolate powder. Ooh, it actually smells really good. It smells like a really good chocolate cocoa mix. Put that into our little tray. And now we mix that all together. But this chocolate batch isn't mixing as well as the original one. Now that that's all mixed together, I'm just going to knead it a little bit with my hand so that it's not as lumpy. Since we're making the bear from the cover, I'm going to save two little circles for the ears. And I think I have just enough to cover up all the pieces. Pop out the two donuts. We're now going to make the icing and the glazes for our donuts. We're going to take one scoop of the water and put it in each container. And then it looks like we're going to take the blue bag and then we're going to put that inside one of the containers. Mix that up to create our white icing. It actually looks like icing. We're now going to open our red bag and we're going to pour that into the other scoop of water. Mix that all together to create our pink icing. Ooh, that actually smells really good. That smells like strawberry icing. This all came from powder. Once that's mixed up, we're going to set that aside. We're going to take one scoop of water and we're going to put it into our first container. We're going to open our small light brown bag and we're going to pour this into that scoop of water to create the black icing. It's like you're cooking with a bunch of little ramen packets. Use our little spoon. Oh, oh no! Oh man, I got that everywhere. Hopefully I'll still have enough of this icing to make the faces. The kit came with a small little display tray, but I don't think I'm going to be able to actually put this together just because these three little instructions on top of this is just not really working for me. So I'm just going to set this aside. After we've mixed our black icing together, we're going to put it in our little piping bag, which I'm just going to whip 
over, and then I'm gonna scoop this into there. Make sure we have all of this icing, because I have a feeling I'm gonna need it. Put it inside, and then, using our scissors, we're just gonna cut the tip of this off, so that we have a small little piping bag. We have our two sprinkle packets. To help put this all together, I'm also gonna use a toothpick so that I have a little bit more control on where all of the icing things go. I'm going to try and copy the actual four donuts on this piece. We're gonna start off by making our circle donut. Using our piping bag, it looks like all I really do is create a bunch of back and forth swirls. We're gonna to top it off with our sprinkles. Too much, too much, too much. So that's our first donut. Our next donut is gonna be the chocolate circle donut. And it looks like it's gonna be the same thing as the other one. But since we only have one piping bag, I'm just gonna use the toothpick to try to make the same kind of design that we did on our first one. Not as pretty, but it's, uh, it's something. This is not as easy as it looks. We're going to add more sprinkles. Ah, oh, I missed all of it. Just all went to the center. That is our second donut. Our third donut is gonna be the circle one. And it looks like we just put a lot of pink icing first. And then it looks like we take our white icing and we just put it on top of the pink icing. Try to create this little swirl effect. And then we also top this one off with sprinkles. Ta -da. And I just realized I kind of messed up with the order of these donuts because this circle one was actually supposed to be this one. So I'm gonna take this guy and I'm just gonna try to reshape it in this one and hopefully I have enough chocolate donut to make this circle one to make the cool little bear on the box. And apparently after these dry, they just keep the same shape. So our bear is gonna actually look a little weird. We're gonna take our little circle, put that in the center, and it looks like using our black icing, we're gonna make the nose on the little part right there. And then for the eyes, we're just gonna set that right up here. Oh, I like that, it actually looks like a little bear. And then we use a little bit of the pink icing for the cheeks. And then it looks like you just put these two dots right up there, but maybe we could use some of our icing so that it could hold the ears in place. If not, I might have just messed up our bear. Oh no, crossing everywhere. Too much. Take the ears, stuff it in there, and it looks like a very chubby little bear donut. And that, oh no, oh man. And those are our four donuts from our popping cooking set. After making this popping cooking kit, I'm kind of glad we decided to go with the donut kit first, just because this is one of the easier ones that don't require a microwave. And even though this was a really easy one, it actually was a little hard to do just because I really do believe popping cooking is made for people that have small hands and have a lot of patience. As I said in the beginning of this video, we are going to be celebrating something today since I have donuts on the channel. And as you guys know, I usually use donuts to celebrate things. Today, we're going to actually be celebrating my birthday. Um, I, today is my actual birthday and hopefully you guys are enjoying this popping cooking uh, donut birthday thing. I'm not a big cake person, but I love donuts and I love pie, so hopefully you guys can join me in enjoying my birthday. I'm gonna go ahead and try one of these pop-in cooking donuts. That was the strawberry icing one. That was really, really sweet. But part of the other announcement for this video is Something that actually just happens as you get older is you tend to not actually celebrate your birthday too much, but if you guys do want to help me in celebrating my birthday, I'm combining my birthday with, oh, that's really sweet, the launch of my AIDS life cycle ride for next year. As some of you guys know, I did the AIDS life cycle uh, earlier this year in June, and we rode 545 miles from San Francisco to LA on a bike. It was me and three of my other friends, Next year, 2016, we're actually, we actually grew to a team of six and we're changing our name from uh, Craft City to The Bros Who Bike. And uh, I'm actually launching my fundraiser, so if you guys want to help me and celebrate my birthday with me, you guys can find the description and you can find the link in the description below and help me by donating to that cause. My goal is to actually raise $3,000, but hopefully we can try to go a little bit more and go beyond the goal that I set for myself last year. 
if you guys actually do donate, I'm gonna be doing the same thing that I did last year by creating cool little chalk pieces. And if you guys donate $30 or more, you're gonna get a custom chalk drawing shout, uh, shout out in my shout out video and on Instagram. So make sure you check that out in the description and click that link and help me out on my birthday for a really cool cause. Hopefully you guys had fun with this poppin' cooking donut kit. This is actually really sweet and it's a little hard to talk right now just because it's really sweet and there's a lot of sugar. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys had fun. I'll see you guys next time. I'm rambling again. Take care, stay crafty, and I'll see you guys, yeah. Today's my birthday. Woo!